So in this video, we're gonna look at some, a nice scent game that you can kind of build up with your dog. So we're gonna use some toys. What I've got here is my little soap tank. So inside here, I've got a couple of little toys that the dog is used to playing with. And I've chosen an essence, this is almond essence, okay? So this is a, a smell that I'm gonna to continue to use with the dog so they get used to this smell and this is what they're looking for. So what I'm trying to extend this to is a lovely game that you can kind of play outside where you can hide your toy uh, and the dog's gonna find the toy. Now, a little bit of it relies on the dog wanting to play with you and the dog having a retrieve within that play. And what I mean by that is if I'm tugging the toy and the dog puts in the effort and I allow them to win the toy, Toy, that they want to come back and play with me again. Now that's a separate video in itself. I've been working with, got a little Jack Russell uh, cross hug uh, Maud that you can hear whinging in the background because she's getting used to this tin now. Um, so I've done a lot of toy play, had to build up her toy play while she was with me, get that retrieve element and now we've just started, um, as part of that we were playing with some of these toys that did smell of the almond essence so she's getting used to that uh, as a scent on toys. So we've got a big scent area set up here, obviously I would start this a little bit smaller so we've made this a little bit easier. And we're gonna build up to just doing several retrieves and then seeing if we can do some kind of hiding of the mouse. Okay, so let's get a little more down and let's see what we're doing. Okay. Break. Good girl, clever. Ooh, where's that mousey? And that's the cue that I've been using for her. Ooh, what's in here? We've got that mousey. Oh, yes we have. Yeah, let's get that mousey. And it's just a little soft fleece toy, so it's nice and easy to play tug with. Yeah, good girl, good girl. Now, I've had to build up intensity of this play because she did at first kind of wander off. She's got, she likes doing kind of things in the environment and having a good sniff around. So sometimes she would just wander off from the toy. So we've built this intensity. Good girly, good girly. And we've built a release with her based on kind of collar. She's had a lot of collar handling, okay, positive handling, whereby collar equals calm, so we can do tar. And she just calms and hopefully lets go. She likes this mouse. And ta. Good baby. Ready. Oh, where's that mousey? Gonna wind her up a little bit and we're gonna chuck that mousey in. Where's it gone? Where's the mousey? Where's the mousey? Just did a little kind of chuck where she couldn't see me directly. Obviously, I've built this up and she can do little retrieves with that mouse. Where is it? Where's the mousey? Where's the mousey? Search hand, flat hand for a search hand. Where's that mousey? Send her into the area. We've done some search hand work. Yeah! We've done some search hand work on food beforehand so she understands this means find. What have you got? What have you got? Use a good girl. You've got your prize. Are we going to play with that prize? You all ready? Let's tug. Yeah, good girl. Nice one. You're going to tug. Whoa, she's got it. Good girl. Ready, ready, ready. Come on in. We're going to do that. Tucky, 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 tucky. Yeah, did you Yeah, you're gonna do Yeah, good girl. So you can see she's happy for to stay around me with the toy. When I'm outside, if I do a lot of kind of what I call my run games, she'll chase me and bring that toy to me. I'm playing here, she likes a little prize possession. Should we do another little find? Are you ready? Are you gonna give that to me? Good girl. Where's that going? Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What's it gone? Yay, good girl. You saw that one. Nice. Couple of simple ones. You want to build confidence with this. Make it easy. Good girl. You can play tons. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Get that tons. Nice one. Good girl. Yeah, she's clever. Right, now I'm going to try and do a little hive. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a few treats. We haven't got to sit and wait, so I can't fall her. She does like her treats as well. So we're going to try gather a few treats on the floor whilst I pop in and hide it. Here we go. I'm just going to hide that. There we go. Oh, where's that mousey? Where's that mousey? Now she's into the treats. So I've got to encourage her. Come on, let's work it. Where's that mousey? Where's the mousey? Oh, where'd it go? Where's that mousey? Just got the scent, I can see a really tight. Good girl, nice one, nice one. Yeah, what have you got? 
Did you want a treat for that? Come on then, play Tug Tugs first. Play Tug Tugs. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Nice one. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so she's let go on her multiple word that means correct. There's food. And that's a nice way of building up. You know, dogs don't want to play. How we use, um, you know, just shaping them. You know, tug on the toy um, and you win the food. You can get all sorts of kind of food toys. Now, um, little pockets with Velcro that you can add food into. Little balls, okay, so you can teach your dog to play using food as the reward. And then over time, they like the play in itself. Maud's actually got quite good play, but she's not had breakfast yet this morning, so I know she likes her treats. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah, she's got it. Good girl. Wow. And we've actually built up yesterday to doing first time we've done actually kind of where the toy was out of sight. Whoa. You ready? Yeah, get it. Whoa. Good girl. Good girl. Now I'm going to try and be sneaky. Ta. Ta, ta, ta. Good girl. Nice. Good baby. Whoa, you ready? Oh, she hasn't really got a weight, so I'm going to just try and be sneaky about where I'm going to hide this, so I'm going to pretend to hide it, and pretend to hide it, and pretend to hide it, and just keep moving around, and then pretend to hide it, and pretend to hide it, yeah, so you can just see, I've just put it underneath there, a little bit of a hard one for her, but let's just see what she does, where's that mousey, where's that mousey, where is it, oh, she picked up the scent straight away in there, good girl, what have you got, have you got it? Yeah, come on then, let's play. Excellent. So I will begin to build this up. Outdoor areas are harder for her because she's a little bit more distracted, but we set, set up little search areas. I've got tires and logs and flower pots, all sorts outside that we can begin to. What I want to do is build a lot of history with how good this toy is. Yeah, whoa. The end of the session, I'm quite happy for her to have the toy and keep the toy. Whoosh. See what I mean? She's into the birds. I don't know if you can see there's birds in the garden. So easily distracted with some of that environmental work. And obviously I've got to build up a little bit more desire for that toy and doing training with me in different environments. So just to summarise, soap tank. Actually, I'll show you what's in this soap tank. So there's a fresh toy. Okay, that toy I can't use anymore because now it's got dog slobber on. I could put it in a separate bag, but I can't put it back in my soap tank. What I've got there is a little ball tea diffuser <laughs> she's trying to get. And it's got one of those kind of cotton pads that you wipe makeup off your face with. And I've put the liquid almond essence in there. Um, I've contaminated the toy a little bit with, with my scent, but I don't mind that she's finding my scent. Obviously, when I'm playing with a tub, my scent's going to be on it. So I don't mind my scent and the almond. What I don't want to do is put the dog slobber in there. So make your soap tanks, begin playing with those toys, build that desire to play with you. Nice, simple finds to start with. Just chuck it in, let them come back, chuck it in, let them come back. It's great for confidence building. Your dog might not be happy to jump around cardboard boxes. So you've got to pick your items, maybe start with soft furnishing first that your dog's happy with. Then you can begin to build confidence with new novel items that are safe to use. Okay, so great for confidence building games. And then slowly you're gonna build up to just doing some really kind of simple hides. If you've got someone with you that can maybe hold, hold the dog and then you can kind of wind the dog up with where you're holding, uh, hiding the toy. Pretend to hide it in different places. Be careful, I kept it firmly in my hand and when I was pretending to hide it, I wasn't touching anything. Anywhere it touches in there, you're gonna leave scent, which potentially makes it a little bit harder for the dog to find. But remember, we're, we're not doing precise scent work here. What we're gonna build this up to is a game that we can kind of do outside on walks. We find a nice kind of log area or something. And um, once we've got to sit and wait, obviously we can get the dog to sit and wait, go in and hide it, make a little trail of it even, okay, and get the dog to find it. So a great game for you and your dog to play.